with y'all, man. I'm Mr. Gallus, and you chilling with Gallus right now. And I gotta talk a little bit low, cause my kids is in the room sleep. So just bear with me. I do apologize. It is about 12:30 a.m. and I don't want to wake them up. They're probably gonna get up anyway in another hour or so to like go get into bed with me and my wife. So yeah, I want them to stay asleep as long as possible. But while you at it, make sure you go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment on it, hit the bell so you know when I post content. My bad, one of them would just wind it. No. <laughs> hey man, they be they it be open, man. But this video, man, I'm just gonna be talking about three things that have pretty much been emphasized to me on a new level since I've been in Japan. Uh, I wouldn't even say these things were taught to me once I got here. I would just say that I have a new level of wisdom and knowledge about these things now that I'm here. And it's making me pretty much have a different perspective on how I go about these things and how I move day to day. So let's get into it. These are the three things that have been emphasized to me. That was six, sorry. These are the three things that have been emphasized to me since I've been out here in Japan, right? So the first thing is just gonna be just to be kind to people and to respect people. And that's, that's like mad basic, but like, I think people really overlook that and they don't really pay attention to how they're treating people and to how they're treating not, not even other people, just themselves in general. Like a lot of people don't love themselves. A lot of people don't respect their own selves and then they're not really kind to the, they're not kind to themselves. They don't, they're not nice to themselves. So, you know, they obviously that translates into like, they're not gonna respect other people if they don't even respect themselves. So, you know, just um try and practice that, man. Try and always have a good positive vibe. I know like one thing with me is like, I always try to be positive and, you know, be in good vibes and have a positive energy. So when people come in contact with me, they don't leave you know, it don't leave me in that experience feeling drained and feeling negative and feeling like they don't want to never, you know, come in my come in my path again or they don't want to come near me. I want people to want to gravitate towards me and to want to, you know, connect with me and, you know, form friendships or form connections or network or whatever the case is because you never know a good opportunity could be around the corner and you get around the corner and then you're negative and you, you rude to that person or, you know, you dismiss that person and they could have just helped you, you know, come up on a, a big bag or they might connect you to somebody who can take you to the next level or even if you, you know, you've been wanting something for the past couple months, that person could have had that or they could have had a connection to something that you've been wanting. You just never know what could happen for you. So that's the one thing that I've uh, really, you know, been trying to focus on while I'm here. And that's honestly because the Japanese people are so friendly. Uh, it's, it's really ridiculous. Like, everywhere I go, they're always wanting to help. Anytime you ask somebody for help, they always go over and beyond. My daughter's in there whining. Sorry. Um, but they always go over and beyond to help. They're always polite. They're always kind. They're always, you know, ne never, never rude. Never, never... Hold on. <laughs> My bad, y'all, but yeah, man, um, the culture out here is like super polite, super friendly, and I mean, well, in Tokyo, I mean, obviously there's different parts of Japan, but um, here in Tokyo, it's like second to none. Like, I've never seen more positive, more, you know, friendly, um, polite. I've never seen it so like this top of the line. Like I've never seen it so. It's really rubbing off on me to make me want to be a better person, to be you know a better husband, a uh, better father, better son, uh, be better at work, be a better airman, uh, be a better brother. So that's just one thing that I uh, I you know I really focus on now besides like work and my family and. You know, trying to be healthy and stuff. I just want to be a better person and always want to be that person that people want to be around and people 
you know, when they see me, they light up or they, they like, oh, like, what's good? Like, how you doing? Like, they want to talk and stuff. So just try and be that light. Try and try and be positive and always try to have good vibes around people. And the second thing, man, this is very important to me, is the importance of family. Like, don't take your family for granted because you never know when, you know, you're not going to be able to go and see your family. You never know when, you know, you might not be able to go visit or go chill, have dinner, go go to lunch. You know, you just never know when that opportunity is just going to be taken away from you. So really take your family and your friends and, and cherish them and let them know you love them because you just never know when you're not going to be able to see them for however, you know, however long, one year, two years, three years. You just never know. And with me being in Japan, I don't get to see my family. I can't pull up on my pops and go play ball with them and go work out with them. I can't pull up on my mom to see how she's doing. I can't, you know, go chill with my my cousin, my brother, go see my sister, go go see. I can't I can't do none of that. So I definitely do miss them. And you know, I'm not saying I took them for granted while I was back in the states, but I really didn't realize how much I was really gonna miss them. So. You know, if you got friends or family that you really care about, that's another thing too. Friends can be family. Like, I know plenty of people who have friends, but they're more like family. So, you know, it's not limited to just blood. If you got somebody in your life that you consider really, really close to you, that's family to me. You know, it don't got to be somebody that you're, uh, you know, related to. It could be anybody. But, oh, if you got grandparents, man cherish your grandparents like for real because i wish i had grandparents my, my my last grandparent passed away when i was i want to say 19 years old so he's the only one i have any real memory of uh, so you know if you have grandparents definitely cherish your grandparents and hit them up go call them go go sit down and chop it up with them and they got all the game they got all the sauce you know, they don't live life. <laughs> like anything you, you done did or trying to do, they probably done did it 10 times and probably did it better than you. So, you know, if you got grandparents or you got somebody that's up there in age, like an elder, hit them up, man. And I'm guilty of that too because I have a couple of aunts who are up there in age, you know, and they got all the game, all the wisdom, all the sauce, and I don't really call them as much as I should. But I'm working on it, you know. I am working on it. I'm not perfect. So, you know, I got to practice what I preach. But, yeah, man, don't don't take that family for granted because you just never know. You just never know when somebody that's important to you maybe might move out the country or they might move to a different city and, and you know, they may be, like, five hours away from you or, you know, they may move to a different state. You just never know what's going to happen, man. So, cherish your family. Don't take them for granted. And, you know, take the initiative to go see people. And definitely take the initiative to call somebody because they don't take that much energy to pick up the phone. Nine times out of ten, we always on our phone anyway, right? So call somebody. Yo, what's up? How you doing? What's up? I love you. Whoop de woo. Oh, I gotta go. I know I'm kind of busy. I just wanted to, you know, chop it up with you for like five minutes. See how you was doing. Simple. And third and final thing. Third and final thing, which is definitely, you know, it's. it's last thing on the list but this thing is so important so important man and that's finances i cannot stress enough how important finances are like how important finances are excuse me um having kids period kind of changed my perspective on finances but i still was doing i ain't gonna say dumb stuff but like i still was you know doing things that i probably you know spending money on things i probably shouldn't spend money on and I'm, I'm paying for that now, but, you know, moving here just kind of emphasized, like, to a different level, like, why you need money stashed away in your savings, why you need to be, like, trying to make money aside from your job, like, if you got a nine to five, have a side hustle, have a business, whatever, focus on your finances and really grind and really hustle to get somewhere, like, even if you don't want to be rich, if you want to be well off, that's fine too. If you want to build wealth, that's fine. Like, do what you got to do. But coming to Japan, man, like, I never knew I was going to have a backyard and I might have to buy a lawnmower 
normal ones are expensive. They cost them two, three, some. The good ones are like four, five hundred dollars. Like who paying that much for a lawnmower? Uh, I know. Hey, I ain't got five hundred to drop on no lawnmower. So you know, you know, it's either that or I could buy one. For, I could buy one for cheap. But electric lawnmowers, they're pretty cheap, but they're not. They they trash. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, shout out to my boy Mojica because he let me use his. But it, it just wasn't compared to a, a, a motor lawnmower. It's not the same. So you know, I pay somebody to do it for like thirty bucks. So they cut it twice a month. That's sixty bucks. You know, it just you know, you just never know. I couldn't told. I, I could have never told you like a year ago. I was gonna be in Japan with a backyard and I needed to cut my grass. I needed a lawnmower. I couldn't told you that. I couldn't told you that. I hit something like a month ago. I couldn't have told you that, hey, I'm going to hit something on this day. Now I'm going to dent the wheel on my car. I'm going to need a new one. Couldn't have told you that. Stuff just happens. So, you know, especially if you're single, really focus on your finances, man. Especially if you want a family, you know, male or female. If you want a family, get your finances in order and make the right decisions. Make smart decisions and really, really, like, calculate how you're gonna move and you know what you're spending your money on track your spending because one thing my wife you getting on me like yo you spend you don't you don't make big payments you make small payments but you do it frequently and i'm good to you that now i'll go to the store and i'll buy something for like five dollars then like two days later i'll go buy another thing for like may cost me seven dollars then another, another couple of days i might go to the store i might spend three dollars See what I'm saying? Like it adds up. At the end of the week, I might I might have spent like thirty bucks on useless stuff. Probably more than likely with snacks. So yeah, man, you just never know. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Being in Japan, I want to see everything. I want to do everything. I want to experience as much as I can. But you gotta have money. So you know, I'm just really trying to focus on you know building my finances. And cause I for myself, I know myself. I want to live a certain way. You know, I ain't trying to be scraping by. I want to be living good, eating good, you know, driving nice whips, having nice clothes. I want the same for my wife, and I want the same for my kids, because if I'm fly, they got to be fly too. I can't be walking around here with a pair of J's on, and my wife got on a pair of whatever, and my kids got on a pair of whatever. Nah, we all going to have some fly stuff. You know, I can't be... I can't be driving a nice car and my wife got a hoopty. How that look? How that sound? Like, nah. So, you know, finances, man. Big, big, big. So, you know, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, you know, just be nice to people. Respect people. Treat people right. Cherish your family, man. Love your family. Love your family. And focus on your finances, man. That's that's really like the three things that I'm kind of focusing on right now because that's just where I'm at in life. And you know, I'm 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 really excited to see what's gonna happen in like the next three years because I'm not supposed to leave Japan until like 2025. So I'm here for a good hot minute, and I just want to go out and experience Japan. I want to go to Kyoto. I want to go to uh, Okinawa. Masawa, I want to, you know, do different things. It's, it's so many different things. I, I can go to Philippines. I can go to New Zealand. I can go to Australia. There's so much, there's so many things for me to do now that I'm on this side of the world that I have access to that, you know, it's at my fingertips. I just got to go get it. So that's what we focused on right now. We're not focused on, you know, just Japan. Well, well I, I ain't going to say that. I am focused on Japan. But... Every now and then, I want to give y'all something like I might pop out to, to Bali. And I might give y'all a video or like three, four videos on what I did in Bali. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all just be, you know, just be patient with me. And for those of y'all that are supporting right now, I really appreciate it, man. Um, I'm really excited to see where this channel is going to go. Even after I leave Japan, because you know, tell them where I'm going to end up. Um, once I leave here, once I leave Japan, I'll have two years left on my contract. So... I could go anywhere, so ain't no. It really ain't no telling, man. It's, it's the opportunity is endless. So, but it's getting kind of late. 
and I think my daughter's up. I think she's probably in there tossing and turning. I'm gonna try to go comfort her, get her to go back to sleep. And as always, man, I'm Mr. Gallus. You just chill with Gallus. Make sure you like the video. If you don't do nothing else, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you know when I post content, comment on the video, let me know what you want to see. I be telling y'all that in every video, and y'all don't be commenting, and if y'all do, y'all don't be letting me know what y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? Let me know, and I got you. Share the video, spread the word, like, yo, this good looking dude on YouTube, man, he in Japan, go check him out. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word. I I need a haircut right now, but it's so good, man. But anyway, man, I'm Mr. Gathers. You just chill with Gathers, and I'm out.